Are you ready to be great? Stop letting self-doubt, insecurity, and fear prevent you from building your business. This morning, wake up to success. Here's John Preston. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Wake Up to Success. Today, we're going to continue our discussion about the sales process and some tips that can help you gain confidence in that arena because sales is ultimately so important in our pursuit of our dreams. We're either going to have to sell a product or a service. We're going to have to sell ourselves to investors. We're going to have to sell our dreams to our family. You have to be confident in that process. And in fact, it's often insecurity when it comes to sales that drives a lot of that inner voice inside your head to question whether you can make it or not. So we've talked about the sales process. We've talked about that just because they do not buy the moment you offer the product means that they don't like it and want to buy. And today we're going to talk about the objection cycle. Now, the objection cycle is that point in the sales process a reason why they're not going to move forward. Sometimes it can be, I just need to think about it, which often is simply kicking the can down the road and avoiding a decision. And when that happens, you need to dig a little deeper. And we'll talk about that on future, uh, on a future cast. But in this particular case, let's say they give you an honest to goodness reason why they're not interested in the product. Now, a lot of times this will be to test your knowledge to see if you know what you're talking about, to see if in fact this product that you're selling is better than something they're currently doing. Often it can be also about their confidence. They want to be able to tell themselves and everyone else that they properly vetted your product before making a decision. So with those two things in mind, how do you proceed? You need to understand first and foremost that you're not gonna change their mind in that situation. No one ever changes their mind when you argue with them. So you don't want to argue with them. You don't want to say, well, my product's better. You don't want to do anything like that. What you do want to do is validate their decision. Because what you want to do is you are, you're creating an environment, not for you to change your mind, but for them to change their own mind after receiving additional information. So I like to say you validate and then you conversate. When you validate their decision, you need to recognize that whatever they have done in the past involving your goods or services was based on what they thought was best for their situation. So they don't, people don't make bad decisions on purpose. So if, if, if they're looking down a different path than yours, you need to validate that. Hey, I can see why you would think that. I mean, a lot of these other products out there do do a lot of the same things we do. But let me show you how we do some things that, that are different from what that. I mean, you want to make sure you that they realize you respect whatever decisions they've made in the past. If they feel like you're attacking their past decisions, the conversation's over. So you validate their objection. And then you provide new information about your product that addresses that objection. Most important thing about all of this is you do it with confidence because they are uncertain on uncertain grounds, just like you are. This is a conversation. And the more confident you are, the easy it is, the easier it is for them to believe your claims about the product and to believe that you can honestly help them in their situation. So you first validate. Then you conversate with new information or a new perspective on the same information, or in some cases, just re-emphasizing what you've already sold because they might have missed it the first time. And then once you do that, you ask for the sale again. A whole lot, your top salespeople know that more sales are made on the second, third, and fourth time you ask for it um, than on the first time. Now. If you keep asking without providing new additional information or a new perspective, then you become that pushy salesperson. And that's why it's very important you validate their opinion, say that you respect why they would think that way. You 
then conversate new information or new perspectives to overcome the objection. And then you ask for the sale again. That's a different scenario because now they have additional information. And then you just continue to repeat this and, and move forward. And, and that's where it comes in. Validate and then conversate. And that will give them a chance to make up their own mind without you being pushy.